What's up guys? Today I have a big haul video for you. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into it <clears throat> because unfortunately I don't have the space to show everything at once. So I'm just going to kind of show it as we go. So first up, we've got the Star Wars Lego character encyclopedia, the updated and expanded version. I got this from uh, Amazon the other day and I got it mainly because of the figure it came with. Now I got this for £10 or £10.50 um, and I only actually found out after I bought it that this came out four years ago. Nevertheless, uh, I'm, I'm going to get right on and show you the, the minifigure. So this is the Boba Fett um, that comes with the set and, and it's actually a really nice uh, minifigure. One of the better ones I think to come from the, the character encyclopedias or the books. Um, I really, really like the intensive um, torso print that they've that they've followed through with this one. It's got a nice leg print. The white and grey colour theme uh, carries throughout the model, well, the the figure quite nicely. Uh, as you can see, the white the white jetpack. This is a lot like his uh, his green version of Boba Fett. I think apart from the it's just the printing which they've changed quite some quite a fair amount on the on their torso like I said especially uh, and and the helmet as well if you look on the cheekbone area they've they've given it quite a lot of shadowing and I'm not entirely sure but there's some rings there uh, a nice little arrow down the center of the helmet Now there is actually some uh, back printing on this, and just like that, there it is. So like I said as before, the the white and grey and black colour scheme carries nicely throughout the back there. It's a good amount of detailing I reckon. So now this is the head. Now I'm really happy that Lego kind of went the extra distance here, and they, they didn't just whack another clone head on there. Anyway, moving on. Now we have the Star Wars 2020 Advent Calendar, which is set 75279, uh, ages 6 plus. And, uh, oh, I've just noticed it also has the, uh, the special code to unlock a special character in the, in the new, uh, is it Lego Star Wars Saga? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. Um, I think I, I was watching some other videos on this, uh, like pre-release reviews, and it just looks like a really great set, and I really love the Darth Vader with <laughs> with the Christmas jumper. Uh, I think they're going to be two good minifigures. Um, not too much to go on this one, but I just really wanted this. It was more like a little Christmas gift to myself. Um, and I'm happy that I got it as soon as it came out, because... These actually, in the last couple of years, these tend to sell out quite quickly. Um, and this one's got some really cool MIDI builds as well. Moving on. We then have the Lego Brickheads uh, Lady Liberty. Now, I don't normally uh, get the Brickheads, but this one actually just looked really quite cute. And I got the Mandalorian ones, and I, who knows, maybe I'll start a little brick collect, a Brickheads collection. Anyway, this is set 40367, ages 10 plus. Although, obviously, you don't, that's just recommended. Um, and it's number 93 in the collection, I think that means. <laughs> I got this for a tenner, or I think maybe it was 11 pounds from uh, Lego, the store. Next up, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack, age of seven plus. Uh, I got this set from Amazon. This was a no rush reward, but it actually came through pretty quickly. Um, all these sets I actually got quite uh, over like the last two months or so. And, they, and they've just been turning up like as and when, and I wanted to do a video now, uh, once I had all the stuff. I am actually trying to build a 
uh, 501st clone army at the minute so i'm just kind of getting a pack of this whenever i can afford it really i've got nine of them now i want to get 25 in total uh, and unfortunately I, I don't know how to do all like selling parts and stuff so i probably won't be able to do that unless anyone in the comments says that they want parts and they're happy to buy the set alone but if not i think i'm just going to use all of the parts towards my mock kind of makes sense uh, i must be able to find some use out of them luke skywalker's sand speeder now i i've already done a video about this but this is i think it's quite a good set apart from the fact it's been re released so many times um it's it's really up to personal choice i think actually but personally i think it's great it's good um i wish it was 20 quid instead of 20 i think i can't remember which was now if it was twenty pound, then it's acceptable. If it was twenty five pound, then I'm I'm not happy. <laughs> Basically, for my next buy, we have the Lego Creator three in one, uh, kind of town square slash apartment type building. Now this is a seventy five pound set. Its set number is three one zero nine seven. It's for ages. Recommended nine plus. Um, and I just think it looked like a really nice set. I was in the Lego store at the time. I bought a couple of other things. And I was just looking. And I've seen this around. And I was just like, what the hey? You know? Um, it was a really nice set. I got like 40 quid, 50 quid off it. With vouchers at the time. And I really still enjoy it in person. It's really nice. I love the fact you can do three different things with it. I will be building this one though. I think that's the best one. Now I'm not sure if this is a normal thing to put in a haul video. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I got two of these new base plates. Really actually happy about these because um, now I'm ready for for when I do expand my mop or if I if I go that way. Um, I think these are like £12.99 each or, or £11.99 each. Um, set number 10701. Not too hard to get hold of these. Got these in the Lego shop as well. Guys, this was a set that I was pretty excited to show to you. Um, I think it's quite funny. Really solid box. When I saw this in the store, I was just like, I've got to get this. There's only one left. And I was like, man, I mean, this is a, like a Lego kid in a Lego store buying Lego. And I was in the Lego shop buying lego so i thought you know what for 20 quid this this set was just like a no-brainer i had to get it i might get like a little box for it at some point in the future i don't know it's quite a simple build but just brilliant uh like i said it's actually cost me 21 pound it's set number 40305 i might do a little speed build on this at some point um but i guess we'll just wait and see I recommend it for ages 8 plus. Um, I don't know if and where you can get this still, but hopefully it's still on sale. It's a great set for little kids as well, just like a starting set. Um, and just uh, patriotic, I suppose, the Lego. <laughs> we are nearing the end of my haul now, sadly. But the the next thing I have up, something I've been dying to get for some time now and that is the, the three by one inverted uh dark bluish gray slopes now this is really going to help my mock i am actually thinking of uh, destroying the mock and starting again doing a, a, a new different type i might do like a smaller one to start with uh, and really incorporate the 501st troops um and and use these tiles because tiles slopes i really really want to use these and uh, now that i got them th there's a good story behind these actually i i got these from bricklink this is my first ever bricklink purchase um and it went down really well i went on the app to, on the uh website before a couple of times and it just seemed so goddamn confusing um and i just thought no i'm not gonna bother and i kept seeing like hungary Italy, uh, every everywhere but like England selling stuff and I just was really lucky I guess because this time I got these new and the guy was from the UK. I literally bought these like three days ago uh, and they already turned up. Um, so really, really good that. 
very happy about it. The problem is you can't get these anywhere but brick length now, I don't think. I mean, you try and get it on eBay and it's just like stupid prices. Now these two sets, I actually got when I was in the co-op. Um, I, I was looking at the magazine section, which I haven't done in God knows how long. Um, and there was a Star Wars comic there. I thought, okay, well, have a quick look. So I turned it over and both of these were stuck on, like, taped to the Star Wars comic. I haven't seen these. I haven't seen poly bags for sale anywhere. I mean, it's very unlike, very rare that I see a Star Wars poly bag myself, unfortunately. Um, I don't know where you can pick them up. If anyone knows, please tell me in the comments below um, what stores you can go to to pick them up if when they're about. Um, anyway, so I'll start off with the Stormtrooper. Now, I think this is a pretty uh, basic poly bag. Uh, I just thought, what you know, it's nice to have it, I suppose. The one I was really looking at was the limited edition Star Destroyer uh, micro build. Midi scale or micro fighter build. It's not micro fighter. Either way, it just looked really cool. I love the, uh, I love the packaging, like the chrome with the, with all like the different colors. It's, it's almost like when you see like the match attacks back in the day. You know, and it had all like the special colouring and like the 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 tint on it and stuff. It just looks really sick. I don't know if this bag is. If, I don't know if this is like rare or not. Probably not because it's on the comic book. But either way, the comic cost me five quid. So I suppose if you think about it, I'm getting these for like five pound and a comic book. Not too bad. So this is the CMF uh, DC Superman. Now, personally, I think they've really knocked it out of the park with this design. Um, there's a lot of exclusivity stuff, uh, like his plaque, as you'll see. The the detail and the, <laughs> the thought that must have gone into this was just really nice. You can just tell it's got some really nice print on it. That's the Daily Planet newspaper. Really cool edition. The hair obviously is an exclusive uh, part to this figure. Um, and the cape as well. The cape is the softer cloth material, so that's just bring keeps bringing up the quality, really, of the of the minifigure, which makes me think, okay, three pound fifty is a bit is you know it makes me feel a bit better about paying that. So obviously, as you can see, the, the print on him as well, that torso print is just so nice. And the leg, nice bit of leg printing. Now there is actually some back printing as well. Just some subtle lines, which um, it just, it just helps towards the uh, fulfilling out the figure, I suppose. It, although you don't really see it very often, it, it's still nice to put it there. I appreciate that. Now, he does have... I think this is one of the things that makes him one of the, the more rarest exclusive figures in this uh, season. And that would be that... I mean, I'm showing him with his red laser eyes at first. But he also does have his normal kind of smirking face, which is quite nice. To be honest, I'm just going to kind of brush over these uh, these other figures because the video is probably getting quite long by this point. Uh, like I said, I bought these three as like a test uh, to see if the the collectible minifigures were still worth like the money they're charging for it. And I'll give it, I'll hold my hands up and say, although it could be 50p less, um, they obviously have gone to a lot of uh, length to give you proper exclusive minifigures here. These aren't just kind of th the fin minifigures that you will find in the set. They have upgraded things. They have like much more printing, really cool special parts on them. So I will give that to Lego. They're, they've done well there. 
uh, like with this minifigure you have like the transparent leg with the printing on it now i've actually never seen that before uh, that was the main reason why i wanted this guy and i'm happy how that got him uh, and the fist was quite cool as well although i think we've seen that before it's still a nice touch um all, and like i said with all the printing and and like the head printing now the last minifigure we have is the exclusive Batman with purple hands, his blue bat wing uh, chucking things and what I thought was weird about this one is that the helmet, the bat ears come up and out so far now I, don't, I can't remember if that's like more realistic to the movie or not but I guess it's, it's a really cool helmet mould, um, I'll try and show you a better close up it is really sick I'll give him that you know the classic the classic uh, print above the eyes so the helmet looks good and it does there, there is no second print on this guys by the way it's just his front print but it does look quite cool and it works really nicely and there's little pant things as well there and the, the half leg print I really like that design And this cape. Now this is a really nice cape. The 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 fact that they've obviously gone to make this specific cape, and this is also the uh, the softer cloth type as well. The fact they've gone to the detail to make the cape with the with the arching at the bottom there. Now he also does have back print as well. His belt carries round. Similar thing to the Superman really. With the I think that's meant to symbolise his shoulder blades maybe, or something. Or maybe it could just be a crease in the shirt. Anyway, that is the three collectible minifigures that I have. So I just want to say a big thank you for you guys who have watched this video and I keep following with my channel. I really appreciate it. I am really trying to start something off here. Um, and it's quite difficult at the start and a bit nerve-wracking, but I really want to kind of get into this more often. And if you've got any, any feedback on how I could do better or what I could cut out, what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying, please leave it in the comments below. Let me know. I will I will check. And uh, I want to just keep getting better in the future. And if you enjoy my content, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, this will be all for now until, until I have more mock building for you. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in a bit.